one-off day here in Singapore after nine days of campaigning for the Pongal East by-election. Today was set aside for voters to reflect on the issues that were raised. Tomorrow, some 31,600 voters will get to elect a new MP for the ward. Four candidates are in their running. And we look back at the campaigns, starting with the opposition. Here's Imel Dasad. Well, from the start of the campaign, the Workers' Party candidate Li Li Lian was seen as a front-runner among the opposition candidates because she had contested and achieved over 40% of the share of votes before. Now, this time round, she banked on her heartlander appeal. She told reporters that unlike the last elections, she's managed to cover all 127 blocks in the ward. Her position was that a vote for her would strengthen the Workers' Party's voice in Parliament. And if elected, her immediate task is to ensure the smooth running of the town. Council. It has been intense, but uh, very memorable, I have to say. I've met many residents, and um, they're warm and friendly. Okay, but I'm not going to take that for granted, all right? I'm not going to speculate any result. We will wait for uh, polling day. The other familiar face back in the ward is Desmond Lim from the Singapore Democratic Alliance. Now, he garnered about 4% of valid votes cast in the last general election. Despite losing his election deposit, he said he was back a dedicated, local, determined leader. While all candidates promised voters uh, they would look at more facilities, Mr Lim also pitched himself as an alternative, not only to the People's Action Party, but also to the Workers' Party. The parliaments need a diversified voice and need a third party to went in to actually counter check on them. And looking at the whole policies, looking at the cost. Also pitching himself as the alternative voice is the Reform Party's candidate, Kenneth Jayaratnam, first telling residents he would move to live in the area if he were elected. Then there was some drama later when he claimed there were threats made against his family. As a new opposition candidate in the ward, there was concern expressed that he would split the opposition vote. I will be fearless about demanding transparency and accountability from the PAP and following the trail wherever the answers to my questions might lead. Of course I will play a constructive role in Parliament. That is why we have policy alternatives that are better than the PAPs. The Reform Party will be pro-Singapore. Mr Jai Ratnam also positioned himself as a man who can debate with the ruling party leaders. Now, the last time Singapore saw a four-cornered fight was in 1997. Back to you. And May Wong sums up the ruling PAP's campaign. Its candidate is Dr Ko Po Kun. Well, the People's Action Party called on Pongo East voters to choose the right person who will be able to serve them and be able to contribute to the whole country as well. Now, from the start, Dr. Ko has said he wanted to fight his own race and campaigned on making Pongo East a home with a heart. Now, concentrating primarily on developing plans for Pongo East, Dr. Ko has laid out his proposals as he met residents. These included building more childcare and elder care facilities and improving the transport network for the constituency as well. He started quietly, often campaigning on his own, saying he wants residents to know him personally. The team we have that stands before you is a team that has concrete plans. It's a team that takes action seriously. We are a team that has real potential, that sees real opportunities for improvement to our estate. We will voice your concerns vigorously and energetically and emphatically in Parliament. We are prepared to work hard. This is the place we want to make into a home with a heart. And as the momentum picked up in the campaign, party leaders were seen walking around with Dr Ko canvassing for support. On the last day of campaigning, the party secretary general, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, lent his support speaking at a rally. Mr Lee emphasised in his speech that the party's fundamental ideals have not deviated all these years despite accusations from the opposition. He assured Singaporeans that the PAP is fully behind the people and his own reason for entering politics to help Singaporeans. We are all part of this Team Singapore, red and white. And that is what we have been trying to achieve and I have been trying to achieve with my team ever since. And when I choose people to be one of my team, to become an MP or to become a minister, that is what I'm looking for. Not just his ability, which I must make sure of, 
but also his passion and his commitment to serve, and whether he has that desire to do good work, to improve lives, to work with Singaporeans, to make this a better Singapore. Now, Prime Minister Lee also assured Singaporeans that the PAP still maintains high standards of integrity and honesty. He called on Singaporeans to consider whether they want to vote for a party who is honest and transparent with them or one who chooses to flip-flop on policies.